It's time to talk about healthcare in America. <laughs> F us. This is, of course, a complicated subject. So before we start talking about the nitty gritty sicky committee, here's a basic summary of all of the working parts. The first group involved are the hospitals, doctors, pharmacies, and any other organization that actually does the work of providing health care, which is why we call this group the providers. Basically, any medical facility in the country falls under this group, which can get confusing because we sometimes talk about employers providing insurance, but that's not what we mean by capital P providers. In America, while there are some government-run hospitals, the majority of all providers are privately owned, with about 56 to 58 percent of those being nonprofit, and the rest being run as for-profit industries. The next group, the group receiving the health care, we will call patients. That group seems pretty self-explanatory. It's like us and junk. The third group is the insurance companies, either private or public sector. This group is called the insurers or the payers because in theory, they pay the providers large sums of money for their medical services. These payers handle the oftentimes complicated financial transactions with the providers so that patients don't have to do it. And in return, they get paid an ongoing fee called a premium, either directly by the patient or as is most common in the United States, by group four, the employers. Or let's. Let's call them employers here because come on, we're, we're on a we're on a P roll, so we gotta peep that going. I don't know. So the employer pays the payer, the payer pays the provider, the provider treats the patient, the patient works for the employer, and the antelopes eat the grass. Circle of life, plurkle of life. We lost our P-roll and I'm sorry. Anyway, it sounds simple, and in an ideal world, it would be, but because we live in this. Let's call it world. It isn't simple at all, and I'm going to spend the next 30 to 500 minutes explaining to you why that is. There's literally no way for me to know someone already stole my wall clock because I have no door. Let's start with the basics. Healthcare in the United States is fucked up its holes. All right, basics over. Let's now expand on that. Contrary to common sense, the healthcare industry is one of the most costly industries in the country, and the U.S. is an outlier when it comes to GDP per capita as well as healthcare consumption per capita. America spends, on average, around $12,000 per person per year. The next closest country, Switzerland, spends around $7,000, which I'm... I'm almost positive is less than 12,000. When compared to nine other wealthy countries, including Canada, the UK, and Australia, uh, the US spends the most on healthcare as a percentage of GDP, yet comes dead last in overall healthcare performance, is the least affordable, and ranks last in equity. However, despite these frankly abysmal outcomes, healthcare is still somehow one of the most profitable, if not the most profitable, industry in the United States. According to IBIS, an analytics and consulting company, the healthcare industry has one of the highest grossing revenues in the US already bringing in hundreds of billions of dollars this year. So to recap there, American healthcare costs the most, does the least, and yet is one of the most profitable industries. I wonder where all that money is going. It must be that money monster we've covered in the past. Damn, one of these days, we're gonna get him. Coney, I'm gonna get you, you money monster. Pow, zip, zap, okay. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Here's the evergreen end plate to ask you to like and subscribe. It's any day of the year where you are.